Well, it just took over two months, but finally Spurs do indeed have a new boss, a new man in charge, and no, well, a new man who's in charge underneath the man in charge, who's underneath the real man in charge, because there's Joe Lewis, obviously, then Daniel Levy, and now we got the new manager in Nuno Espirito Santo. Now, I think he's a good appointment. I also think that there's been a lot of stuff going on in the background over the last few months as to why we might have not had a manager for this amount of time, but it is what it is. We can't change it, and I think Nuno... He might do a good job. Hey, no, Ridge with the comment here right now. We're just going to be talking about the Spurs new manager. It's finally happened after all these months, all these days, all these hours. I think there may have actually been a bloody clock every minute that passed because we were managerless for so long. But Nuno is the new guy and I'm pretty okay with it. I would say he was probably on most people's lists and probably on Spurs' list themselves as the second or third most wanted manager for the team. And... I think now that we've got him, we kind of have to say it could be a lot worse. He will bring an attacking brand of football and one which a bunch of the players will be able to play in. I don't know. You don't know. No one knows if Kane is going to be staying, but if he does, I think Nuno could get something out of him like he got out of Raul Jimenez. And Jimenez is a great player. He had a rough season with a terrible injury last year, but really, really bad one. But Nuno has always done a good job and he did a great job at Wolves. I think they finished 7th, 7th and 13th or 14th last year. Qualified for Europe one year. I think they may have got to like quarterfinals of the Europa League. It's, it's something. It's something. I know there were bigger names out there for us, but when it came down to it, Conte was never going to come to Spurs. I don't think that would have been a fit for anyone. It would have been another Jose Mourinho fit, but I think it would have been even worse than Jose. Like, Jose was okay. He wasn't awful. He wasn't that bad. People were saying he lost the dressing room. I don't think he did. I really don't. And I think that he did a solid job with the squad that we had when we were competing against the teams we were in the Premier League. But when you look at it overall... I think that Nuno may be second best. I think other than Poch coming. And for me, I do feel that it's not been enough time to bring Poch back. Poch is maybe the next appointment. Because Nuno might be here for 5-10 years. You don't know. I'm not saying he will be. But considering the way he plays football. Considering the way the Spurs fans want to play. I think he could be here for a long time. So maybe Poch is the appointment after that. Or the appointment after that. But he will come back one day. I just wasn't sure this was the perfect time for him. But then you looked at the other possible appointments in Eric Ten Hag, who I think would have been great. He's very committed to Ajax. And he's probably looking at a Real Madrid or Barcelona as his next move, as opposed to moving to Spurs, Arsenal, Everton. And Everton had just got Rafa Benitez. So that's a whole other kettle of fish there. So there were a couple of other options. I think Roberto Martinez would have been interesting, but I think Nuno is a better overall manager. And then you go and see what Palace have done, going and hiring Patrick Vieira. I mean, that could either blow up so quickly or be a great appointment. We just don't know yet. But wow, it's a wacky time. There really aren't that many great managers out there. And I think maybe we might have got a coup in Nuno. Graham Potter was throwing about, but I think for me, I'd rather have Nuno than Potter. He's done it at a higher level. He's played in European competition. He's had to rotate his squad. And I would say I would take Nuno over Potter every day of the week. At the end of the day, right now, the managerial hunt for clubs is impossibly difficult. It's like a game of chicken. There are so many possibilities. We went through about a list of 10 serious contenders. I don't know why Gattuso was on that list. The guy has not had a great history in general, but especially as a manager, he's not had a great history. But when you look at it, there were so many options that could have happened. And the reason why Spurs were probably hesitant in really finalizing someone may have been because of the Pochettino situation, because France had just been knocked out of the Euros in the way they have. Deschamps is probably going to go. Zidane's going to France. Deschamps might go to PSG. And then Poch, there was a chance he may have come to Spurs. So I see why they left it so late with that little chance of, if you can get Poch back, you kind of take him. But I'm happy with Nuno. I think he's going to do a good job. And hopefully he can keep a couple of our good players there. Lloris, Son, Toby, Ndombele is going to be a hard keep because apparently there's a lot of clubs who might want to take him. But yeah, next season with Nuno, it might not be so bad. I'm not saying we're going to win anything, all right? I'm not even saying we're going to win the Europa Conference League because, you know, our history is so great. But it could be better than last season. And last season, it could have ended so differently. I mean, a couple of bad VAR decisions that went against us and we probably could have made it into the Champions League. So it is really fine margins that determine where you're going to finish in the league, especially at the upper end of it. But 
Top four, possible, not likely, but it's the journey, boys. It's the journey. And maybe Nuno can reinvigorate the Spurs fans. And I think everyone needs that right now. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then Nuno himself gonna come after you, my guy. I say, I say he's gonna do it. He's gonna come. He seems like a hard man, but a little bit of a teddy bear, you know? Like, he's got a soft side to him. The problem is, he doesn't show it that often, so you don't want him coming after you. No, you really don't. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra the Comic. You've been Graham. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow if you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it every day for over 1,000 days now. We ain't stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality. Shitty content, because we're hashtag never not here. Just how it goes. Also, bring the Pukwas. Pukwas means nonsense in Punjabi. And we also bring that. Bring a lot. Bring a little. Do a lot. Do a little. But we do indeed bring the quality shitty content on a daily basis. So, see you tomorrow. More of the same. Slightly different. But, essentially, the very same. Once more. See you then. Skadoosh.